So the, we are going to configure database from the start of creating another new VM. Yeah. So how do you create new VM? I just uh, double click the download. And it looks like it's in importing another new VM. It asks some questions. Now I, I have another computer. <laughs> this one. I will rename it. I will rename it. Oh, it's already running. It's doing something importing appliance. <coughs> so now I have three computers. The advanced web development, the web systems technology, but I already configured things there. I want to record I want to record now how to configure things from the start. <clears throat> so the VM VM box manager is configuring the new power the new computer and we are going to rename the new computer as where is the name? We will rename it uh new new db app and i'm going to teach forms okay okay so we can start our our, our networking is supposed to be host only network <coughs> Host only adapter and let's try to start so our goal for today or in this recording is to configure a newly downloaded <coughs> VM to run uh, PHP and uh, connect to the database and we will make a form that can accept data from the Browser, okay. We are almost there. Okay, I'm going to log in. Bitnami, Bitnami. Current password, Bitnami. New password. Okay. Sudo bash. And then I'm going to go to Bitnami, Apache, and htdocs. And then I'm going to make a form, pico form that uh, HTML. For simplicity, I'm going to make a form that HTML. Okay, okay. They understand class. Let me make the screen bigger. Scaled mode. Yeah. Do you see now? My commands are usually at the bottom where the cursor is. So I'm going to make a form.html and then I'm going to make HTML body form method equals <coughs> get and then I'm going to put a name and then input type text name equals name okay I'll just put it in and then we are uh, course Then we're going to put another one input type <coughs> submit name equals 
a u and then slash form any question it's very easy yeah there is nothing new html you already know body already know and those things you already know br you already know maybe the form is the new one yeah or you already know the form if you already know i will not teach you okay maybe the form is the new one right islam you are all very silent i don't know if you know or you don't know anyway so what does the form do now we, i'm going to say control o and i'm going to visit the page by the way what is my ip address i will try to x and then ipa show 192.168.56 it is this one 56.103 the proxy setting we have to configure the proxy <coughs> to exempt anything from being proxied So that we can load this one. What what is the name that we did? Form that HTML. Sorry. Form that HTML. Aha! Look 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 class. So this is the form. Do you understand? If you view source, it view source. Diba, diba? This is the HTML of the form. And that is what we typed in our virtual box. Not this one, this one. That's what we typed in our virtual box. Pico form dot HTML. <coughs> diba, diba, diba? Now, class. <coughs> So we are typing uh, HTML in the VM and we are seeing it in our host computer here. And HTML is, is enabling us to type something and submit something. <coughs> when I click submit, <coughs> it's submitting to the same file. So what we're going to do class we're going to put an action here. <clears throat> and what I added is an action. See? This one. Action equals form submit.php. So I, I save it. Control O. And then I reload it. You know what, when we reload it, oh, it's okay. We reload it. Really? <coughs> okay. I just experimented on the letter D. What will happen, my friends, when we put action equals form submit? When we reload this form, and then when we click submit, it will submit the data that we put in the form to another file. Which file? Form submit.php, which doesn't exist yet because we did not make it. We will just see what happens. See? I this, this input and submit 
enabled uh, enabled the user in the web to type something and to send it back to the server but we did not make yet form submit that php so it says not found <coughs> now i'm going to make a, a not i'm going to make a form submit pico form submit that php <clears throat> and then I'm going to make now you are learning PHP I can echo get what's the name of the variable I forgot the name of the variable n course and a ok ok n Why in name name <clears throat> and then my friends of course we are going to add a br and a backslash n echo course get course br backslash n of course the action action is get a <coughs> save before I discuss I will try first I will try I will try let me see what happens name I will put my real course and then I will submit okay see what happened I type my name and my course and I click submit and it my PHP displayed my name and my course. You understand? <clears throat> now I will explain because it worked. <laughs> you are never sure if it will work. So this one is everything inside PHP. And by the way, I can still put my HTML or our HTML here to make it nice, uh, <laughs> real HTML, body, etc., etc. Right? So if I save it and then do you know how to get out of this? You just press the other control. This this control, this one. Yeah. The other control button so that your mouse will go out. <clears throat> oh, for example like this. When I click submit, oh, diba? When I click view source, view page source. Oh, it has HTML, body, name. So, this is the output, and this is the code. Diba? <coughs> the output is, this is HTML, there's HTML, but inside here, the echo does not show in the browser. Only the output of the echo. That means you can split your server side, right? Now, echo is like a function to display something like print uh, something in Java. You know, but you don't have page feed, you, you don't need to put uh, <coughs> the open graph. This one is a concatenation character. You understand? Concatenate, yeah? You understand that, right? And this one is a string. Okay, okay. Yeah, this is a string. This is a uh, array. Divide the array is like this. You know array? And this is an index to the array. You can have string indexes to an array. And this is the get array. This is a array of everything that is in the form. <coughs> so you can put hundreds of things like application form. <coughs> will all be available in the get array. 
This is a variable. In PHP, everything that is a variable starts with the uh, data. <coughs> you will make plenty of money. Data underscore get is a system variable that contains all of the data submitted. Okay, so <coughs> now we can get data from forms. Do you understand? Any question? It's hard, it's easy. Easy, right? It's easy. I will teach you some more. <coughs> Where is our original? Where is our original form? So, this is the, the loading form. <coughs> form that HTML is where you can type things and when you click submit, this is the, all of the things that the user type will be thrown to submit form submitted page. Now let's <clears throat> Are you okay? You understand how it works? Or you already know this one? You already know this one? You are all smiling, right? No? Okay. We can also have a no class. <clears throat> Life story. <laughs> Life story. And then you put text area. Story. Text area. Name, story. And then, slash text area. And then save. What is that life story for? What is the life story for? So that class, when we reload this one, I will reload, yeah? Oh, it's ugly. Let's make it uh, nicer. But when we make it nicer, it will become more complicated. <laughs> so class, this is the easiest way to make it nice. To put it on a table. You understand table? A table HTML, yeah? So I'm going to put a TD and then another td here and then i'm going to remove that that they are unnecessary this is unnecessary now but you will be amazed with the table the table can fix many <coughs> can make your life nice but it is complicated so what's going on my friends is i am putting a table in uh, in the form table how do you spell table <clears throat> so inside the form there is a table inside the table there are rows and inside the rows we will indent so that it's easy to understand inside the rows there are TD is stands for what does TD stand for, my friends? Mm. Table data, right? Yeah. Okay. So that it's easy to understand. Oh. Do you like this style or this style? Is this style okay with you? Or is this is easier to understand? Okay. I don't need to make it nicer yet. because it consumes tabs, waste space. So that one is easy. So what will happen when we put tables? Let's reload. See, ugly, it will be nice in one click. Oh, now it's a little bit nicer. But the font doesn't look, uh, it looks old. 
how do you change font in HTML? How do you change font for the whole document? Okay, maybe we can just say font here. Let's try. Control. Okay. <laughs> But this one looks like it's centered. I don't like centered. I want uh, virtual align. Uh, this should be uh, be align be align top. Look what will happen, class. This this one should be this one should be up here. When I click reload. Oh, di ba, di ba? <clears throat> this is my life story. Try, try, try. <laughs> you try and you try and try. And you copy and paste and you try some more. Mali. You try and you try and you try. Okay. And then you submit. There is no life story. What happened to life story? Control X. The other file, submit that PHP. By the way, I'm just pressing up and down, and it's scrolling uh, from the history of my commands. So, so sometimes I'm just pressing up and then enter in from the prompt. So this one, we are going to also to put uh, the life story here. Echo life story and then that dollar get what is the variable name that I put story let's see if it's correct control and then alt tab and then reload oh it's here The problem, my friends, it's all coming out <laughs> in the URL. <laughs> you notice? It's all coming out in the URL. So if you type, if you Google and you type Winelfred Pasamba, you will see that all of the variables that what you type is coming out here because this is get form. Yeah? What if you type password? Your password will come out here. There is a solution to that. If you are, if you want people to type a password, okay, we are editing here. You can use uh, action method uh, post. This one. In post, in post method. In post method, my friends, diba ganyan? It's clean. When you click submit, class, when you click submit, your password, your things will not come out here in the URL. They will be submitted, but they will not be in the, they will not be in the get, uh, array they will be in the post array post they will be in the post array i will save press control press alt tab and reload name And when I click submit, <laughs> how come it's not there? <laughs> I think the computer is uh, joking. How do you troubleshoot? First, I will view source. I suspect, oh, it is already post. <clears throat> Let me just try. Okay, it's there already. 
Sometimes the computer is joking you. <clears throat> it's delayed. So if you use get, all of the variables will be in the URL. And you cannot use that for passwords. This is your come out there. If you use post, they will not be here, but you can put more. Because the URL has a limit. How long is the URL? I think. How long can be the URL? <clears throat> the URL <coughs> length can be only 8,000. What if your story is long? <laughs> your life story is long because you have, you, like, you have plenty of stories in your life. So it will not fit. However, the post... <coughs> The post, the size of post array <coughs> can be uh, many megabytes, <coughs> can be millions of bytes in post. So everything that requires a lot of data, which you don't want to show in the URL, <coughs> you use the post method. Everything that you want the data to be in the URL, you use the get method. So Google uses get method because you want the links to be here. <clears throat> but the limitation of the get is that you can only have 8,000 characters in the whole URL. And the passwords will show. So if you have a password uh, field, <coughs> for example, class, <coughs> let's make a password field here. I'm going to make a password field. TR, TD, input type. You have you can have a type password. Save. Control. Reload. Let's reload here. Back and then reload. Oh, it doesn't show, yeah. Password field will not show. <coughs> when you click submit. Of course, I did not display it in the other one. Control X. <coughs> so I can also say echo the password. <laughs> dollar underscore post P. Save. Control. I can just click reload here. Nothing happens. This is the problem of the delay. It will take one minute to happen. <coughs> Unless we turn off our opcache, but I forgot to turn off the opcache. I wonder if we release it. <coughs> Now I broke the, there is something broken. Ah, you did not tell me my friends. Okay, do you see the error? <coughs> I put two single quotes instead of one. Okay, let's go and try again. Okay, the password came out now. Okay, okay. Now you know how to make password prank. But of course, you're not going to display the, <laughs> the password, right? I'm just demonstrating to you uh, how to do a password prank. Next thing, since you are, our lesson is about forms, <coughs> is to make a selection. Selection, for example, drop down. I think we should change the course to a drop down. 
let's instead of having an input, let's have a selection. It's called a select. We'll name it course. And then we will have slash select. And then we will have option. Option value equals BSCS. Okay, do you want to type that fast? <coughs> you use typing tutor. <laughs> <coughs> now let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's re re reload. Okay, now you have a drop down. Oh, diba diba? And you can just type your name. And when you click submit, the course will show. You understand? Very nice. Very easy. Web is very easy. <coughs> diba, diba? Very easy. You have drop down. You have text box. You have a big, by the way, this life story, you can have a big life story. <laughs> How do you change the default? size of the life story in your text area you can put rows how many rows you want 10 columns how many columns you want 50 let's see if it's correct oh diba diba you can change you when i was uh, a little kid I saw a computer. Okay. And I broke the computer many times. Okay. <laughs> uh, and then let's submit. Okay, now I have my story. <laughs> What else can we put? This is too big. We should uh, make it smaller. By the way, I think our browser is zoomed in. <laughs> it is really this big, yeah? Okay, okay. <clears throat> Let's make a checkbox, my friends. Let's make a checkbox. <clears throat> TR, TD. Is the TR, TD confusing you or it's okay? It's making the, it's the, it's the form nice, yeah? So what we are focusing now is the, just the input, select, and the, these are the things that are used to you now. The inputs, the select, this one. Select, select. Option, option. Yeah, yeah. And it is input. The type password, type submit, type text. Now we are going to make checkbox. <coughs> uh, anong is checkbox natin? Kaf. Do you live in the dorm? Okay. Dormitorian. Uh, how do you make a checkbox? Input type equals check. Name, dorm, dormitorian. Let's see what happens. Control, Alt, Tab, Reload. Okay. Aha. Asan yung dormitorian natin? <laughs> it's wrong. It should be checkbox. You see? I don't know what I'm doing. Oops. What happened, my friends? Save. Control, Alt, Tab. Okay, now we have a checkbox. When we click Submit, 
Of course, we did not yet uh, read what is the, where is the checkbox? Name, value, yes. <clears throat> so, my friends, the checkbox is a little bit different. It's 8.13. We have seven more minutes. The checkbox is a little bit different. The name is, ano name yung checkbox natin? Dormitorian. Dollar underscore post. Dormitorian. Okay, okay. Oh, uh, diba? <clears throat> On. I'm mistaken. I think I... I was expecting a value, but it's not working. Okay, sorry, class, for the wrong information. You cannot put value on that checkbox. <clears throat> if you click it, the if you click the checkbox, the browser will say it's on. If you don't click it, it will just be blank. The rest. The rest has data, but the checkbox is unique. When you check it, it's on. <laughs> it's on or blank. It doesn't even say it's off. It, if, it's, if you remove it, it doesn't say it's off. <laughs> it's just blank. So that's the behavior. <clears throat> what else? One more thing. In the last three minutes, one more thing, important thing in forms is the radio button. Where is our checkbox? Dormitorian. So let's just make another. Now, we are going to make which dorm? And then we are going to make a radio button. And we are going to name it which dorm? And we are going to name it, uh, we will put a value. Mulabe. Mulabe. <coughs> Next radio button. Name which dorm? Value Sampagita. Okay, let's see if what happens. What happens? Control, Alt, Tab, Reload. Oh, diba? <coughs> it's radio. I think I forgot how to make a radio button. <laughs> <coughs> I have to review how to use radio button. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. It should be input type radio. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry. I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Input type radio. Okay, we should have like this. Okay, sorry, I forgot radio because I'm not using radio button. You normally what happened oh for I think I forgot some TR the table is a mess how do you <clears throat> how do you troubleshoot the table you just put border equals one temporarily it will be uglier a little bit but at least it's easy to understand when you put table TR <clears throat> you know why <laughs> You know why it's broken. I think there is another, an extra TD. There is, yeah, there is an extra TD. It's just supposed to be only one. Save, control, alt, tab, reload. 
Okay, now you have which door? <clears throat> so these are the common things that text uh, input type text box selection and options this is the text area this is the password type input type password this is the input type checkbox when I'm pressing it's this thing this is checkbox another checkbox and this is the input type uh, input type radio in radio if they are the same name you can only select one yeah so you can have many dorms and you can also select one if you want to sleep sometimes in Mulabi, sometimes in the other dorm you have plenty of money you cannot use radio button you should have check box yeah i want to be booked in all the dorms so if i'm lazy to walk i will just go to the near dorm <clears throat> that's the end of our time to summarize we can make things in the form whatever and we can submit we can submit via get in the url with the limit of 8000 characters via post a different variable but no limit uh, virtual limit is like two megabytes but you can make it like 10 megabytes and you can there is another input that you can put upload file upload but I will teach you that later because it's a security problem. <laughs> People can upload PHP script in your website and then they can run it. <clears throat> so you can be careful. I will teach you later so that uh, we can teach security also. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to learn. And please continue to lead us and guide us, especially my students. And the students have come early also for the next class. Thank you for hearing our prayers. In Jesus' name, pray. Amen. Stop recording.